best year of your career starts out with maybe the most violent incident of your career in Daytona. Yeah, Daytona was terrible. We get to Daytona and take off and had a great car, a good run, and had a big wreck. Oh, right Trouble behind Rusty Wallace is turning over. Rusty Wallace, 20 feet in the air, spinning, crashing. End over end and flipped, and my gosh, and I, I left there thinking this is terrible. We go to the next races and run great. Rusty Wallace took the lead right after the halfway mark to pick up his third win of 1993 and push him into the Winston Cup points lead. You can tell right away that Rusty and, uh, and that bunch were going to be the ones to beat. 1992, it's one of his worst seasons ever. And then you come in, I guess you have to fix the problem? The timing was good. I mean, I, you know, it would have been tough to come in behind one of those championship years to be Earnhardt's crew chief. There wasn't a better job in the garage area. 1993, what do you remember going into that season? For us at that time, there was a little bit of a misunderstanding within our organization. I had a long-term contract with Jack Roush and I wasn't happy. So I had a long talk with Jack about uh, the possibility of my leaving. How early in the season? Sonoma. After Sonoma, told the guys that we were going to make these changes. And they went to work and started hanging bodies, and uh, it really turned our season around. Do you start thinking championship? Immediately started thinking championship, and it wasn't a couple weeks later, we go to Talladega. Great performance that day. Led the race all day long, right to the very end. Starts raining, caution plague comes out. We went back to green, and as we're rocking him back to the front with the checkered flag wave, and I get a tap. Checkered is waving, Ernie Evans wins, and Rusty spins and gets airborne. End over end, 25 yeah, times. Awful. Flew across the start finish line with the roof down and still finished sixth. What happened from your perspective? Earnhardt's coming back to him, and he blocked Earnhardt. Huh, he blocked him? Yeah. Earnhardt didn't let up, and he hits him and sends him on this wild ride. It basically my fault because I blocked off Earnhardt when he had a good run. You're taking the blame. For 25 years, I have blamed Dale Earnhardt. Okay, it was 60% Earnhardt's fault and 40% mine. How's that? <laughs> Did you break your wrist? Broke my left wrist. Still got a big pin on my wrist right now wow. to this day. I was driving with this cast, and it kept getting in the way of things. That ends up being Rusty's worst stretch of the year. But during that stretch, who rises to the top? Yeah, we did. We, we hit our stride there. Earnhardt was so good at scoring points. Even on a bad day, he'd figure out a way to get you five, six, seven spots more than you deserve. He wouldn't give away points. He was a bulldog. So you couldn't steal them away from him. It just turns out that when Rusty was having bad days, we were having good days, and points started stacking up. I never looked at Dale Earnhardt once and ever considered out driving Dale Earnhardt. All I ever looked at was I knew for positive I could beat Dale Earnhardt if I made my car good enough. That's what drove me. You go out and you win four races in a row. What is that like for a driver? And I remember that feeling, you know, euphoric feeling of like, wow. He has won all the NASCAR Winston Cup races in the month of August. You feel like you've arrived. You're in a hole to Earnhardt. You gotta make this title run. We're about at September right now. I know that he wasn't gonna get away from me. Mm -hmm. I felt I had enough confidence in our team that we can do this. In the last six races, he's been first, second, third, fifth, first, and first. I think it's gonna go down to the last race. It's gonna be one and two. Me and him are gonna be racing for it. You go to Atlanta with a big lead. Is there any stress in your head? That particular weekend wasn't too stressful to only have to finish in the top 35, maybe. I know when I went into Atlanta, that last race, I said, I got to sit on a pole. I got to win the race. I got to lead the most laps. I got to do everything I can. And you know what I did? I did that. Rusty Wallace comes off the corner, takes the checkered flag, and wins the Hooters 500. And I still come up short. The 1993 NASCAR Winston Cup Series champion for the sixth time is Dale Earnhardt. That was our first one, and um, gosh, it was a lot of fun. I look back on those with really good memory. You know, beating Rusty Wallace was just icing on the cake. You won a third of the races and no title. I know. Doesn't that make you mad? God, I'd sit there at night going, shaking my head, going, man, I won a third of the races, still didn't win this thing. Best year of my life, 10 wins. That's a year that I'll never forget. All right, last chance. You sure you don't want to blame Earnhardt for Talladega? <laughs> well, he did run into me. <laughs>